Hello everyone, my name is Tord, I live in Sweden and I run a small uh, blacksmith company called uh, Tyros Forge and um, I recreate all kinds of old weapons and um, this is one of uh, my re latest recreations it's uh, well, uh, in Sweden it's called Bajduxa. Simple, it's a broad axe, uh, nothing to it. And then some people have started to call it Dane axes because of the Danes invaded uh, Great Britain. Well, uh, I think they just call them broad axes because they are broad, simple as that. This one is um, made after a, a model of Danax that sits in one of the museums in London. I can't really re remember which of them. Um, it was uh, found in the River Thames among a lot of other uh, Viking stuff, probably from trying to sack London for some 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 period uh, I won't go into to that but I'm going to show you this axe uh, this one is a little bit special usually I use more modern material uh, but uh, for this one I thought it could be fun to make it a little more historical correct um, if I get closer with this one so got so I got two different materials here. Um, here is it's uh, wrought iron, uh, not bloomery iron that should be if it should be historical correct, but still uh, it's well 150 years old. It looks almost the same in the structure. You can see it's almost like pattern welded steel. Um, and this is how. Bloomery iron and bloomery steel looked like it wasn't deliberately made patterns. It's just layered steel and iron and <clears throat> Then you have a high carbon edge cutting edge here and um, This steel is Actually, it's it's modern made. It's made by me. I make my own steel sometimes uh, in a special hearth refining process, so it's uh, old scrap iron that I uh, melted down and made steel of again and it gets the same structure as well again pattern welded steel but uh, uh, it's not it's just steel different uh, carbon levels it gets like this when uh, when you fold it to make it cleaner because it's lots of impurities in the beginning and the same uh, for the Lancaster shear steel or wrought iron so, Dane back battle axe. Uh, it's very light. It weighs about 900 uh, grams. Due to this big beast, 24 centimeter long blade. And well, it's, uh, I kept it not so sharp because I usually cut myself when I try to haft them. Uh, I've done this, been to the doctor stitching up myself a couple of times because of sharp axes when hafting. So I'm going to make it shaving sharp. I won't make it razor sharp because a, ra a razor edge wouldn't hold for the uh, for the damage. Uh, this is intended to do you need to have a what it, they call it an apple seed I think apple seed edge so this is actually a little bit convex in the edge so it's rounded to make good support for the uh, for the cutting edge but right now I barely can if I rub really hard I will cut myself but not even yet but I, I will uh, make it shaving sharp but with the rounded edge so, um, well, I, 
think it will be a, a nice battle axe. Anyway, luck one who gets this one. Hope he will be satisfied. Thank you.